our squad is a fairly young squad. It's scary to know that they're not even, or we're not even at the, our, our peak yet. We, you know, give it a few more years and I'll be 39, I think. I'll be old. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Hope you guys are doing well. So today I'll be taking over the video and I've been getting a lot of messages in my DMs through my social media and some friends and families obviously also have been texting me, asking me how the season's been going, how am I um, coping with, you know, the the week to week grind of the Gallagher Premiership, you know, all things rugby. So I thought, well, I reply back individually when I can make a video and hopefully answer some of your questions. So. Yeah, let's get this show on the road. So what's been happening at the club so far? Well, let's start off the field. Kevin Sinfield and Wynn Finlay, absolute legends of the club. Will is our SNC um, trainer. He's one of the young guys. He did play, he was in the academy with the Les Tigers a few years back. I gave rugby up and is now doing SNC. And um, Kevin Sinfield, he's our defense coach, absolute legend of the game. Played for Great Britain, um, played for England in rugby league. Um, the dark side as they call, as they say over here. And anyway, so these two guys, I've been doing marathons, so they've been running. Wow. Will's done, I think it was, so it's a half a marathon a day for 30 days. He's absolutely killed it. And he was doing it for a charity for Tom and Tiffany Young, the Young family. And so, you know, they've raised, I think somewhere close to 20,000. His initial plan was to just raise 10,000. So I'm pretty sure, you know, it's roughly around the 20,000 mark. So he's done really well. Kev, uh, Sinfield, he's raised, I think, over 1.2 million, wow. roughly around around that, you know, that area, that mark. So he ran a marathon for 101 miles. So in kilometers, it's probably about 150, 106. I could be wrong, but roughly around there. Oh, I could be way off there, but um, and he did that for his good, his best mate, Rob Burrow who is suffering from motor neuron disease, so MND, heartbreaking disease. It, it actually eats away at your body and um, you know, there's, there's, there's no cure for it yet. So, you know, these guys are absolute legends of the club. Like literally, I don't think I've been in a team before and I've been in a lot of teams where you would see things like this. Actually, like this is ridiculous. Like to run 101 miles or to do a half a marathon, to, to do that every day for 30 days, actually that's testament to their character and for them to do that, it just, uh, you know, they're the sort of blokes that you'd wanna go into the trenches with because you'd be confident that they would run through a brick wall for you. So I guess off the field, had a few weeks off um, to get the body right. You know, the good thing was did some training, but away from um, Oval Park, which is pretty cool. So I just ran up to Melton Mowbray, trained with them. So thanks to Melton Mowbray Rugby Club for letting me train with you guys. Um, we played touch for two hours. So that was pretty cool just to get back to grass uh, roots level and just, just play touch and just enjoy. You know, the, it reminded me of why I started to play rugby and um, that was pretty cool. So I said to Kim, I'd be home in about an hour and I ended up, I think I left that six and didn't get home till nine because we were just playing. But yeah, that was pretty cool. Body-wise, good. Probably needed that. I think after you know that first block of games, and I think knowing that I was going to get a bit of a break made me want to work harder. I guess mentally, it's done me wonders. Obviously, we got Harley Quinns this weekend, which is a very, very big game. It's an important game for us there. Uh, for those who don't know, they're champions from last year. They won, you know, the grand final beating Exeter. Yeah, so they're gonna be coming this week to Welford Road. Now, the good thing is we've got a home game, so we get to play them at home, which would be pretty cool. I'm pretty excited, I, I, you know, I can't wait to play them. Uh, hopefully, you know, we'll, we'll do our, our fans proud. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool, so. This week, we're obviously back together. We actually went to Nutfield Gym, which is just a like a local gym. Um, so we actually trained a, away from Oval Park, which which was pretty refreshing. And um, to see the boys and hear some of the stories, you know, it, it, it actually felt like it was your first day of school, like you'd been away on holidays for six weeks. So, you know, boys, I think, are pretty eager and, and keen to, to crack on now. So, you know, we've got Europe. Uh, we've back in the Champions Cup this year, which is pretty good. 
So we're playing, we've got Bordeaux away in France. That'd be pretty cool. So I get to speak a bit of French. We'll try and touch up on my broken French. That'll be pretty cool. And then we play home to Connor, which is a team from Galway, which is Ireland. So yeah, there's a lot of games now. I think the next sort of block of rugby, I think it's about eight, nine weeks before we go back into the Prem Cup. So, you know, I think having that break really rejuvenated, I guess, not only my mind, but my body. And then hopefully, you know, it'll um, set us up for, you know, the next block of games. So yeah, pretty, pretty pumped. Um, so we just had the Prem Cup not long ago. Two weeks ago, the boys played Sale and Was and actually came and came away with the win. But the thing that the one thing that stood out for me were the young guys that played. I think we had about six guys make their debuts for Leicester Tigers, which was pretty cool. You know, and you know, I'm just so happy they got to win and you know got to experience, I guess, the culture that we're that we're building here at Leicester. So, you know, and I think the most exciting thing about it is that our squad is a fairly young squad. It's scary to know that they're not even, or we're not even at the, our, our peak yet. And we can always get better and, and learn, you know, and, and strive to be better. So that's the most scariest thing, which is going to be pretty cool because, you know, give it a few more years and, you know, this team, I'll probably be long gone by then. I'll be 39, I think. I'll be old. But yeah, you know, it, it's good because it, with the young guys here, it makes us older guys, you know, work a bit harder and it pushes us as well, which is really good to see. So. You know, I'm doing things, you know, that I probably wouldn't have done, I guess, in the past. But that's only because, I guess, the environment that Steve um, Borthwick, who's a head coach, Alad Walters, you know, Richard Wigglesworth, who I must say, mate, he's our, so he's a player coach at the moment. Wow. He's a halfback. So he trains and coaches at the same time. How he does that, don't know. You know, I've been trying to pick his brains about it and how he does it, you know, he's obviously... He has to train, do the training side of things, and then the coaching side. So, mate, even him. So him bringing in, you know, his attack plays, you know, stuff that he's, you know, he's been playing for 25, 30 years, I guess. <laughs> no, he's, he's been around a long time, old uh, Wiggy. But, you know, he's what he's done to our attack as well has really taken it to the next level. So, yeah, but I think the one thing that we don't really talk about winning, we never talk about all the games we've won or all the games we've lost and this is what we need to, this is how many games we're into. We never do that. We always talk about the plan, making sure we stick to the plan. Then, you know, we win. And the good thing is like, you know, if we win, that's good. If we lose, uh, but we've given everything we've got, then we're fine with that. For, well, for me personally, like it's refreshing. You know, I've been in teams where, you know, we've been told, you know, we need to get to the semis. We need to be the top three. We need to be top four, stuff like that. So to have that sort of mindset, I think, is pretty dangerous and it's good because at least you know, right, it's not about winning or losing, it's about how we play and how we want to play. And um, you know, the one thing about the Gallagher Premiership here in England is that you'll find that most of the teams have their own way of playing. And this is one thing that's got to me here. The rugby here, I've finally, you know, learned why they kick it and why they do this and why they do that. So, you know, some teams are, are different, some teams are more attacking, some teams are more physical and stuff like that. So, yeah, I mean, exciting times ahead, guys. Like, you know, we've got Europe to look forward to. Um, you know, we've got a few more home games. Hopefully that answers your questions. And hopefully I've given you a bit of insight into how our season's going so far. It's not finished yet. We've still got eight months, I think, of it all. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Apologies if I blab it on about too many things, but hey, at least you know. So if you don't know, now you know. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I'll leave it there. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, bye for now.